Okay, uh, Whitaker and Strawinski here. Hello. We're looking at a cartoon um, about, well, let's have a look at it, shall we? It's, uh, we see the signature on the left bottom. I can read it because I already know who did it. He's a, he's a cartoonist. Thomas Nast and he were contemporaries. So I guess Nast was a little bit, a little bit uh, before. Mr. Joseph Kepler. Kepler. And interestingly enough for our subject, he was an immigrant. Ah, makes sense. Yeah. So this is titled Looking Backward. Looking Backward. And the date is 1893. So what do we got? So, I mean, the first thing, you know, this, the central figure up here in the foreground is, is this, this guy, um, who is clearly an immigrant. And uh, I think, as you pointed, most likely Russian, if we were looking at this. Yeah, he's got that hat, hat that yeah. people would have associated with your, your average Russian peasant right. escaping persecution. Uh, we've talked about pogroms or pogroms. Uh, so he may be Jewish, but he, he, he may not, but he may be some kind of generic um, immigrant yep. from a generic European or Eastern European country. I think he's likely Russian or Eastern European. He's got all his stuff with him. He's, he doesn't look like a rich person right. to yeah. me. Probably has all of his stuff with him. Yeah, that's everything he everything owns. Everything that he owns. It's he's like got the... two sacks full of stuff. Right. Yeah. And, uh, and, and headed in. So we got this guy who's clearly coming off of a boat. He's coming down on Oh, this. he's on gangway. Yeah, yep. he's on a gangway. So he's coming off of a boat uh, here, and he's met with these five five guys. Yeah. Um, oh, the other giveaway for the boat is the boat's tied oh, up. Oh, yeah, of course. The boat's tied up at the dock. Yeah. Yep. Yep. So he meets these 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 five guys here, and they look pretty well to do, I would say. Yeah, they've got the yeah. um, top hats, yeah. yes, which is dead, a dead giveaway yeah, for sounds, someone who's doing... Yeah. Who's rich? Yep. Maybe you know, like the Monopoly Man, right? Capitalist. Mm -hmm. These are yep. people who they. The reason they wear these shiny top hats is because they, you know, the, you wouldn't wear it unless you were right. doing to well. Prove that they've made it. They might be right. factory owners. Yep. They've got they, they've got this they've got some nice coats too. Yeah. They've got oh, flowers nice. in their lapels. And yeah. Well, the this guy, guy one of those good. guys, got fur on uh, his yeah. uh, collar. Like fur here. Yeah. You know? Yeah, and they, so they're, they they all look pretty well to do. So they've made it. Right? Yeah, yeah. And they kind of and they and they they've also got uh, quite a belly on each of them. So they yeah. they they got lots to eat. Yep. Right? Yeah. So they can afford a lot of a lot of food. Unlike the guy stepping off the right. Yeah, bank. who clearly probably can't afford a lot of food. Right. Yeah. <laughs> he's got basically nothing. Right. So he's coming into America, and he meets these five well-to-do individuals. And what's obviously the most compelling about this mm -hmm. is the the shadows behind them. Oh, yes. Right? Yes. And then each, each of these five well-to-do, made-it-in-America individuals have these shadows behind them. And those are very, very interesting. Because yes. what are they representing in here? Well, they don't look like normal shadows, do they? Of course, no, no. Because the, you can actually see... The features of the shadows yep. are mm -hmm. all right. So we're looking at five different pe five different people. Mm -hmm. I guess the guy on the left, he's got a what's that? A broom? Yeah, he has some kind of a broom. So he's, a broom head there. So he probably was a sweeper, sweeper or something. Some sort of custodial work, janitorial something, yeah. clean yeah. up. Yeah. Whatever. The next guy uh, on to the right of that guy was is he's got a, like a tray. Right. So he's probably selling yeah. something, a street peddler. Sure. Which is a fairly low. Absolutely. I mean, like street sweeper or whatever, it's it's kind of a low down, uh, you know, next to poverty kind of first job kind of thing. Right. Yep. I don't know what the guy, the third the guy in the middle. Uh, <laughs> we don't know. I don't know. But he's got an interesting hat. Right, he does. So he's got as a does the chief does around the, there. As does the next guy. Yes. I think these are. I think these are different um, nationalities, and I don't know what the nationalities are. But right, I think the guy on the left might be Italian. This guy. Yeah. yeah. I'm. I'm guessing. Yeah. We're gonna say maybe Italy. Yeah. We're 
question Next mark? guy along, Maybe? I don't know, maybe Russian or yeah. Polish. Let's say Polish, why not? Yeah. Polish. I don't know, Eastern Europe. Uh, yeah. The Could next be... two, I'm not quite uh, sure, yeah. maybe Swedish? Maybe, I don't this know. This guy I've, here with I've the, no the idea. pointy yeah. hat? I've no let's, idea. Let's say that he's from Sweden. All right. <laughs> Different countries. Sweet, sweet, Sweden. 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 And uh, this guy on this has got a furry hat. Russia. You gotta be. Yeah. Gotta be a Ruski. Right. All right. And uh, again, we don't know what this guy Irish. does. Irish. I'm Nord thinking we... maybe Irish. Irish. Yeah, because right, that's the features it. of the face are kind of uh, kind of a racist, uh, uh, an earlier racist interpretation of what Irish people look like. Okay. So that, his really little cool. face there is, is kind of kind the of, little yeah. pug nose and yep. the hat. Okay. Th I'm thinking Irish. All right. So, so why are the why are the shadows there? Right. Well, I mean, this is the shadows of their their former selves. I think or, these guys were all once immigrants that showed up and got these kind of menial jobs. Right. And what they had nothing. They had yeah, clearly had nothing. Very. I mean, just looking at the the you know um, outlines of their their clothing and the shadow features. Yeah. They uh, cl they had nothing, and came to. America as immigrants yes. and made it, right? Yeah. I mean, that's the American dream. The, these guys are encapsulated the American dream. Yeah, land of opportunity. Absolutely. Uh, home of the brave, land yep. of the free. Land of the free. Um, land, of the brave. land of milk and honey. Yeah. And they're living proof. Right. That it can be done. It can be done, and you can start from nothing and become something. Mm -hmm. um, what the, What's interesting about this is what they're doing. With regard to this immigrant, and um, right. the guy in the middle, who may or may not be Irish, is putting both his hands up, which indicates to me that he's kind of saying, stop right there. Right, yeah. Oh, that's far enough, sir. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Turn around. Yep. Go back to where you came from. And yeah. I'm not sure, but the guys on the far right, far left, maybe they're doing the same thing. Yeah, this guy might be, you know, he's holding his, his hand up like, no, no. Yeah. And these guys here, I think, just look appalled. Yeah, they're like, oh, what is this? Yeah, exactly. Who is this filthy immigrant coming to my country? Yeah, yeah. So we're, this is quite clever, isn't it? We're looking backward behind them mm -hmm. to their former selves. Right. And they're looking at the immigrant. They're looking backwards, too, to what right. they to used to be when yeah. they had nothing. Mm -hmm. and, and oddly... They don't seem to want this guy right. to have the same opportunity as them. Yeah. It's almost like they for, they're looking backward, but they're not even seeing right. their past. They don't They've see completely, themselves. They can't see the shadows. Nope. All they see is a new guy who, and they don't want him around. Right. And why don't they want him around? Yeah, that's a good, I mean, that's a really good question. Because, I mean, if these guys are factory owners, you they, know, want they would workers. need that guy. Yeah. But maybe they, you know... I think, well, by 1893, mm. there's starting to be some anti-immigrant uh, sentiment. Well, there it is. Yeah. There's yeah. starting to be some suspicion, especially people from uh, Eastern Europe, right. especially people from Italy, saying, these guys are troublemakers. They're just coming here, and they're trying to start revolutions. They're right. anarchists. They're yeah. socialists. Uh -huh. They're communists. They're people yeah. are going to... They're going to undermine bring, yeah, they're, this. They're criminals. They're going to... Yeah, they're going to take away from our way of life. But yeah. at that same time, they've forgotten what, uh -huh. that they were Right, that they themselves were. They were this guy. This, yeah. And they were much thinner back then. It seems like it. Yeah. Well, the more things change, right? Indeed, yeah. Yeah. And uh, we're looking at a very similar thing right now. Yep. Thank you, Mr. Schwinski. You're very welcome, Mr. Whitaker. Thanks for having me.